Howdy doodly. Uh, this is literally the next day and I ain't finished with it. We got to get more things welded. All the little holes on the inside. Probably put some body filler and some of the holes in the back. Because if I remember right, there's like foam behind the firewall area. I don't want that to catch fire. But we did get the fuel pump remounted. And I'm going to try and run that better whenever I do rewire it. Anyways, uh, those three holes right there are what I'm going to be covering. That one, that one, that one, and that one. Those are the ones I've been recovering. So when I body line it, there won't be a hole there. All right, so we got the beetle moved in, truck gapped out a little bit so I can move. But uh, we need to work on getting turn signals because road legal. I want turn signals. I'm just gonna get them mounted. Don't have things I need to wire it up yet. Well, I do, but it's way too cold. It's like 40 degrees and we're outside. Inside, outside. So I'm trying to figure out where to mount these. And they're like little light bars about, I think eight inches long. And I got some for the front that have drive lights and then some for the back that have brake lights. But I'm thinking putting them right on the bumper, just screwing them down to the bumper and uh, making that work or maybe, yeah, probably on the bumper because it's angled and people can see it better on both sides. And in the rear, the engine guard here. That way you can see it around the curve and everything. So probably do that since it seems simple in my head. And there's literally nowhere else to mount it other than on the fiberglass, which is what I don't want to do. So we're going to do that. Now this is just some cheap stuff from Amazon for motorcycles. Just some uh, cheap stuff here. Not how I thought they were. They are bendable, but this would be the back. I thought they'd have screw holes so I can screw them in, but I guess I just have to zip tie them, which is fine, but they have the double-sided tape. That would be the rear. You know, we're good. So this is the, the red version. Apparently there's a, on the other side, there's a white and amber, and it has like, these weird different colors. But this one is the red and amber, which is what I got. And that's what this one is, is the, the white and amber. This is the red and amber. So these ones go on the back. These ones go on the front. What we're going to do for this is just spray this with brake parts cleaner and wipe it off. So easy does it. Something for the, yeah, the adhesive to stick to. Both sides. Probably not good for the paint, but I do not care. Looks fine. That'd be working good for me. Yep, something like that. Probably cut that off right there, but we're just gonna zip tie around the black ends. Holds it on there better. Cut the ends off. Kind of like so. Make sure she's flush. Oh my god. Make sure he's flush, good enough. And now we got a turn signal that'll hopefully be bright. And I can actually test it real quick on a little little battery. All right, just need a little heart battery because that's what I use, heart. Good stuff. Right, I got the drive lights working and they're very bright, which is what I wanted, but Let's see if I can't get the ambers to work. I forgot they were sequential. All right, once again, get this one mounted. Same, that side's already mounted. But this is gonna look good. I like this. Just gotta get a new 
turn signal switch because someone cut the wires. Same with the ignition switch because I want to use the original ignition switch so I can use the door, door locks because the key is not usable. And I want to be able to lock this and not get it stolen. So that's what I'm going to do with that. It's going to turn out really good. I like those lights. They're very bright. Get a little snip snip action. Possibly. Snip. Snip. Perfect. Those are going to look great. I want to wrap the wires underneath and follow the other lights here. Yeah. It's going to work. Let's get the backs on now. Hold up, I want to test these first to make sure they're red because that would be annoying. Oh, these are sequential like the other ones. Uh, well, these are the... These ones didn't come with anything. These ones only came in a bag. Hey, those are some bright tail lights. Really bright, actually. Hurting my eyes. But that's brake light and tail light. It should work the same if I hook them up to the same wires, which is what I'm going to do. Alrighty, I'll try and get the turn signal to work. So these ones aren't sequential, but they are bright. So that's all that matters. Mounted on the back, sort of the same way and uh see how they look there we go just like that just little tiny simple stuff work just fine i'm not too worried about visibility because their things are bright i just hope i can wire them up right because i am just a child more zip ties because if bolts won't hold it zip ties never would have i think that's how that saying goes she ain't going anywhere and i remember that it's a uh, if zip ties would have hold it, bolts never would have. That's the way it's supposed to be. All right, a uh, little bit of snip action. Yep. Looking good. This one's a little different. This one's a little down. Snip. Yeah. Now that one might be a little bit over further, but it'd be all right. So underneath the column here, there's supposed to be some wiring for the turn signals, but I'm not seeing them. All right, so here we have a universal wiring kit, harness. Just has all the new essentials that we need, horn, battery, uh, some accessories, lights, turn signals with the flash relay already in it, and brake lights, and uh, radio, because that's going to be in here. There's going to be a radio in here. It's going to be thumping. Taylor! It's going to be thumping good. It's a lot of room back there for a subwoofer. Now, I've never wired a vehicle before, but there's a thick wire here and a ground. I believe this is a ground. And I think this goes to the positive side of the battery. I think. <laughs> Should be pretty easy. And I uh, guess we could start doing it. I'm not sure what all we're going to do because i'm not the best at this i've never done it obviously because i'm yabbering so i think all we got to do is just start doing it and i think we're going to screw this underneath the dash underneath the dash where the floorboards are not where the floorboards are but you know what i mean if you've seen my crap we got the fuel pump moved up here yesterday and it's awesome it's not even can't even hear it when you turn the key so that's good it does run good i haven't got a chance to test it out yet and see if uh the problem's still going on so we're just gonna, gonna say it's it fixed it so <laughs> not worried about it let's just start taking uh stuff off that's not even being used like voltage and oil 
which I'm gonna use the oil, so I'm gonna leave that one there actually. But we're gonna take the voltage out because where this panel is, where all that nonsense is, is gonna be a uh, switch panel with plugs and stuff, buttons. So, yeah. All right, got a voltage gauge up. I'm gonna measure this and replace this slot that's in there with uh, one that has fuel gauge because I plan on getting a GPS speedometer in here to replace that old one that may not work. So I'm gonna do that. Seems like the most smart thing to do because I'm gonna get a, get one that has a fuel sending unit so I can just screw into this with a, if I'm looking at it, screw into this with a fuel sending unit so I can, you know, get my gas gauge working. I'll take off the speedometer since we're probably not gonna use it. And I could test and see if it even works with the uh, speedometer cable that I bought for it that I'm not going to use. Thing sure is cool though. It's got a little red line, not red line, I guess shift lights painted on there. I think these are painted from back in the day. I'm not sure. But it's original. Original Volkswagen. Looks original to me. Um... I would like to keep using this, but I'm not really a fan of the the bouncing uh, speedometer. So, and I've had I've had a Volkswagen before. Uh, it was a '74 standard, and it had a all the way to 100 miles, and it went like 90 miles an hour. I don't even know what engine it had. It just was sitting for nine months, and I bought it from a guy and sold it recently. So. Um, this one doesn't even go 60. Well, it goes 60. I got finally got it to go 60, but it's got it's also got some big old tires. Just fucking squatted. Got them big old jumbo willy bobs on that motherfucker. It ain't going nowhere. So, let me get the speedometer cable and see if that spins the speedometer and turns uh, the dial a little bit. All right, so we got ourselves a brand new speedometer, which reason another reason why I might. Not you, well, I'm probably not going to use this is because it's got disc brakes. I don't know if a standard speedometer cable will work with disc brakes. And it's got spacers. So, yeah, I don't think that's going to work anyways. All right, moment of truth. Let's spin this and see if it works. Oh. Maybe if I put it on a drill. <laughs> it does work. How cool. That's nice. I'm gonna take this off, which I'm pretty sure is Ram Air. That's not even there anymore, so get this out of the way so there's more room. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Get this done here. Now, if this was going stock, which it clearly can't because someone chopped the front and back end, so there's no point of trying to preserve what's broken. So I'm just gonna break these uh, Ram Air vents off. We gotta break this stuff off. For being 50 years old, Stuff in here is still rock solid. Right, I got that Ram Air bracket off and took this other Ram Air vent off that's never going to be hooked up again. And you can already see that there's a lot more room up in this area, which is going to be a hard to reach area for your fingies, your little piggies. And uh, went ahead and cut this weird cable that came out of here. I think it was for this. But I'm going to go ahead and start marking things that I know I'm going to need again, like this fuel pump positive 12 volt key. That's where it hooks up to. This is just ground, so I'm not worried about it. And like this one's a starter from the last previous owners. So this one's a starter, big thick red wire, which is cool. 
this one, this black wire says coil. And this other red wire that goes, I drop stuff. I don't know where that washer went. That went to the speedometer. Anyways, I think I'm gonna start getting the PA system off because with that out of the way, there's only like a few wires to look at. So let's do that. Take the battery off first before I kill myself and make the car go up in flames. Yeah, 13, where's my ratchet at? There it is. Yep. Oh, wrong way. Stop switching on me. There we go. Get it. Get it. Good enough. Leave that in here so I can forget about it and freak out and not be able to find it. Good to go. All right, just for some video reference, when I hook this up later, these guys kind of mangled this. So can't really tell what in the fact that this is and this one is we got a black and a white that goes from uh, white to green and black to green. So that's cool. And we got a ground right over here. We got a ground. So that's pretty simple stuff. And then we got probably 12 volt key power. Wait, what? Goes, why do they, why do they do this? <laughs> it goes from that to that. And then this goes from this to 12 volt key, also to 12 volt constant. Why? Why do they? I don't understand that. <laughs> All right, just rip those wires out of the PA system. Go inside, move stuff that you put in the way strategically so that you can sit on everything and break it more than it already is. All right, sit down. I guess I'll just leave this here. Cause it'll probably go in the same exact spot. Ugh, it's like old carpet. Yeah. That's gross. What was the original color? Kind of like a, a soft blue color. All right, well, get that done. Then we can start pulling wires through this side. All of this is gonna get Heat, heat gun with the weatherproof stuff that has the solder in the middle. So it's never gonna come off unless you cut it, which is good. I've done my fair amount of YouTube video searching on how to wire, and I've never seen anyone do this because <laughs> I feel like this is just a fire hazard. There's no fuses, there's no relays, there's nothing. It's just wire to wire from wire to wire to battery. <laughs> it just doesn't seem safe. So we're just gonna feed all these in here, little by little here. And look how much cleaner this is already. All right, we got so much more room in here for activities. Probably take that off too if I can. But next step is to take these self tappers out. I'll replace them with actual bolts so they don't jab you in the legs. This is getting simpler and simpler. We got room everywhere. All that's wiring is this. That's pretty much all we gotta fix. This is not even needed. We can get rid of that, but that's it. That's it. Pretty simple. All right, so we're digging in deep here. So now this car is no longer runnable in the state that it's in. We got a bunch of accessory wires here. Switch off with one hand. Just gotta cut a bunch of zip ties and slowly get these wires out of here. If I can, and this roll cage is really in the way. Oh, 
<sighs> so this is already getting really messy. I just really want to get these brown and yellow cables out of here so that I don't have to deal with them. Well, now there's a brown cable here. Oops. Remind me not to do that again. I wonder if those aren't turn signals for the already existing lights back here. I didn't think they had turn signals on these. Um, interesting. But nevertheless, they're getting pulled out. Anyways. So we got everything labeled that is telling me where things go. It's not like I'm going to be using the wiring anyways because I got a whole another wiring harness. So we just got to figure out where, at least I'm going to figure out where the, the freaking harness fuse box is going to go. The second thought, there is a hole here for I think the original fuse box so it might be able to go here you know what i'm saying all right that took forever to get that tape off and it's not even off yet but there's a hole here this is probably part of the heater actually i don't think the fuse box actually went here because there seems to be a propane heater in all of its glory in this area. Do I put the fuse box from top to bottom or from bottom to top? See, I might go top to bottom because if I go top to bottom, you won't have a bunch of wires in here. Oh, the options, the options. Let me check what it looks like real fast. All right. Um, it's a warm enough day. Got some still, not stillness, Silas, whatever that is, sound deadening material, Silas. Um, I'm gonna do the back because, you know, engine's back there and uh, move forward. Kind of did the passenger side already because I was like, eh, see if it fits and not fits, but see if it sticks to what's already on here because they got like this rubber stuff all over here. And it seems to stick really good to it. So, um, yeah, going to continue with that. All right, so I've done all I care about doing right now. Got the floor. Got this door panel just a little bit. Got that one in the back. Doesn't want to stick to that. So, and it's already kind of sound deadening itself. But I think I'm done for right now. I'm almost out. So I'm going to do... All the door panels, side panel over there, underneath the dash, the roof, doors, etc. You get the gist. I'm actually going to end this one here. This video has been all over the place and I kind of want to start from scratch on the old uh, videos because there's so many I took over the course of a few days and it's just getting out of order and I don't really want to continue continuing out of order. So yeah anyways i'm gonna continue to purchase things because it's just getting expensive let me tell you it's been a lot of money on this bug it's got a lot of problems but we'll see to it it's getting better and better and wiring will commence one day which is not now i don't have the time but She's looking snazzy, snazzy, snazzy. That floor is looking good. Got to do this floor. I got to buy more uh, sound deadening and uh, keep removing stuff and adding stuff and all of the above. And uh, do the roof. I do the roof next. That'll be easy. Take off the dash panel and make a smooth metal dash. That'd be fun. And, uh, yeah. Have fun.